USA Director Admiral Michael Rogers says that the USA is actually vulnerable to cyber attack on its power infrastructure. In other words, we don't even have to have like the, you know the high altitude nuclear burst or anything like that to take out the power structure. And he says China has been probing um, the, the uh, infrastructure, the electrical infrastructure. Uh, for quite some time, and he says there's two other nations, he doesn't want to mention who they are, but if there's, <laughs> I can almost figure one of them is Russia, right? Who the hell else is, you know, what else is new? And he says it could bring down like our, our um, you know, our chemical treatment plants, uh, water so, so, uh, water treatment plants, our uh, industry, you know, all our industry, you know, our electronic communications, water pumping stations and all that so you saw me uh, turning on a couple of uh, generators which also have um, a well disconnect where I can pump, put the generator directly to the well pumps water out and I also have like a little uh, 900 gallon kiddie pool that's full of water that has colloidal silver in it and also pool shock to keep it fresh and I could just pump water in there and use a 12 volt bilge pump from there uh, with batteries and inverters and all this other garbage, plus plenty of fuel to run the diesel, right? I have one diesel, one gen uh, one uh, gas, so two types of fuel, so two different generators, that's why I have two. Uh, probably be guessed to get a multi-fuel generator, even whatever, but I got two generators, so the one's a backup to the other. But um, the deal is, here's resp Obama's response, man. I'm like, man, this guy's yo-yo, man. I'm like... You know, instead of like pre-positioning all kinds of stuff that can be put into place right away, I mean, hell, you know, if you want to freaking stimulate the economy with some Defense Department contracts, just have all these um, extra, you know, stations of generators and things for that you could that you could fire up. But he wants to make an international agreement that hospitals won't be targeted. Now, how are you gonna not going to uh, target a hospital if you're going to be knocking down like a whole infrastructure? Now, hospitals have their own, you know, uh, backup power supply. But what kind of stupid lame, <laughs> what kind of stupid lame thing would that be to do? First off, they're not going to be able to say, "Oh, we're only going to hit this one big area and we're going to leave out all the hospitals." If you're going to hit a big area, you're hitting everything in the area, hospitals included. So he wants to make this international agreement, assuming they even abide by it. How could they abide by it? But they're not going to be able to abide by it. But, you know, the NSA director of Rogers also says that it's just a matter of time before this happens. So this is on a major media. And it's a warning. I mean, it's not like it's going to happen next week. But you ought to be planning ahead. And, you know, the other thing is, say, for instance, this never happens. Well, if you live in the south, you can have a hurricane that can knock out your power for several days. You can have lightning storms that knock out your power for hours. If you live in the Midwest, you can have um, tornadoes that knock out your power or ice storms. And the same goes for the Northeast. You can have ice storms and snowstorms that knock out your power. Uh, if you live in California, you can have earthquakes that knock out your power. So... Even if there's never a cyber attack, this is not a stupid thing to do. But he's actually telling you, you know, in other words, um, you might be thinking that's too far-fetched. But, you know, I'm just telling you, you know, do what you want. I mean, it's a free country. You know, everybody does their own thing. But Obama is not really responding to this in a great way. Uh, you know, if I was, the, you know, if I was the one that had to respond to this, I'd be saying, well, we're going to have a lot of, we're going to harden our systems. We're going to have backup systems, too, going back to old school that we can even run, you know, the main stuff on. You know, if we have to run the water treatment plants, we have to run, you know, the Internet or whatever the hell it is, we can do it. So he's not doing that. He's responding with, let's make an international agreement that they don't target hospitals. I said, I'm going to vote for Mike Tyson next time, man. The opposite of Obama, man. God, it's Obama's weak. <laughs> so anyway, I uh, just figured I'd present this here because it's uh, it's it's in a, it's it's something. It's not BS. It's not drama. It's not you know. I I didn't get this off. You know, I know like on a. Um, I know a lot of times these blogs and stuff, and you know the alternative media, they'll take. 
major media stories and they'll like run with the ball like and really say, Oh, the sky's falling any minute. That doesn't mean this is gonna happen, but Michael Rogers says it's just a matter of when. So I mean it could happen some years down the road, but you know, you should be prepared for this anyway because like I said, like for the reasons I mentioned before, you know, earthquakes, ice storms, um, tornadoes, hurricanes could knock down your power for a while, especially, you know, like you know, if you're in the south, it's not so bad. I mean, you're not freezing your ass off, you know what he's saying? But if you're up north and your power gets knocked out, man, you're going to be in a hurt locker. So, I mean, maybe you want to have kerosene heaters or whatever the hell it is or, you know, whatever. You know, I have some of that stuff, too. So, it's like not a uh, conspiracy theory. It's actually coming from, you know, Michael Rogers, the head of the uh, NSA. And, you know, I mean, you know, I might say you might not like the NSA, but the NSA does have some functions. I mean, I don't like them spying on Americans either, you know, but, I mean, hey, you know, you need some kind of national security, but there's, there's, there's other countries out there trying to screw us up. And the fact that, you know, you start just doing a little logic, like you look at, you know, the, um, the latest warfare planes that we have, the, uh, you know, the 35, the uh, it's the China's already copied that damn thing, so don't tell me they don't have you know detailed information on our infrastructure. It's like I think they're gonna. What if they do something? They'll do it all at once. They'll do it all at once. But if people are prepared, and like I said, you know, if you're not, if it doesn't happen for ten years, or if it doesn't happen over the next ten years, say, uh, you know, I'll get almost. You know, more than likely, it's hit and miss that either you might have an earthquake, a tornado, an ice storm, a hurricane, or something. Knocks down your power for a couple of days. And, you know, it's like you'll get over it. Well, unless, unless it's in the middle of the winter. That's the other thing. But you'll be very happy you bought a generator <laughs> in that time. I'll guarantee you. I mean, I used my generator um, a bunch of times. I don't know. One time it was totally sunny out, and... Um, I was like, the power went out. I was like, what the hell? It was a car hit a freaking um, pole. No, pole. One of the electric poles knocked the thing down. And the power was out for like uh, almost a day. Because they had a, they had a like, you know, with the wires all over the place. It knocked the whole pole down and ripped everything out. So they had to put another pole up there. And everything. It was down for... But, you know, you'd say, yeah, you can wait a day. But, you know, while, while during that time, that day... When you have that generator on, you're you're so glad you got it. It's like you don't think about it. And every once in a while, like you see, I get out there and start them up to make sure. Yeah, say these puppies work, you know. So, anyway, um, that's the word of the day. It looks like uh, they're going to do it via cyber attack. And you know, it's like it leaves no trace. Just like the Stutz virus shut down the. Uh, the Iranian nuclear program and all their computers and all that kind of crap like that. And also they had, I think they had a, a problem even with a virus on uh, Fukushima computers that were shutting down their safety systems and all that type of stuff, right? So, I mean, it's like, if that happens, you know, where's, uh, you know, how do you know who did it? I mean, wouldn't that be the ideal way for an enemy to do that? You know, like, where'd it come from? We don't know, Right. So, I mean, I'm not painting a doom and gloom. It acts like, like I'm just telling you that this is a situation that could be and probably is going to be likely at some point in the future. And you take action and you have yourself ready for that, for that, you know, when it happens. And, you know, if it's something like that and a lot of people are prepared, it's going to be good. But it's not going to be a problem. I mean, you know, but if I got, you know, as usual, most people won't be prepared. I know that. But anyway, if they bring down a power uh, system, if they do it by something like cyber attack, it could be down for a lot of days in widespread areas. And that'll create a lot of problems, man. So um, Obama's the way he's addressing this is horrible. I mean, I don't know. I mean, you know, they want to, I mean, why don't they just put up a whole bunch of solar panels someplace or something? I mean, come on, man. You know, I mean, I don't know. I mean, instead of like, let's make a treaty that uh, they don't attack the hospitals. So say they didn't attack the hospitals. Everybody else is getting attacked. 
But, you know, they can't freaking attack the hospitals anyway because the hospitals have their own backup systems. It's lame. So, anyway, figure I'd pass this on. It's almost like Ripley's Believe It or Not. What else is new, right? 